have the internal fortitude to push on and not just hit the escape hatch <laughs> and yeah. it comes up, right? Yeah. What did I heard some weird experiment? I forget where I heard it. Like they were drowning. Was this a Jordan Peterson the other night? They were drowning. If you take a chicken or, they, or a rabbit or something and they would drown it. And oh, they would hold it. They would make it tread water. That's what it was. They would make a rabbit tread water. Mm. And I, I, I heard this on a podcast or something. I think it, I think, it, I, I, anyways, I heard it on a podcast. You take the, the rabbit and you put it in the water or a rat, I think it was a rat. You put in the rat in the water and it can tread water and it treads water trying to live, trying to live, trying to live. And then right as it goes under for the last time, you pull it out of the water. Mm. And that takes about 15 minutes. Damn. And then if you do it with those same rats again, they'll tread water for like, it was something like 60 hours. <laughs> Because they think at any minute they're uh, going to get pulled out of the water. Dang. But if you take a fresh rat, it's still only going to make it 15 minutes. Mm. Damn. So if you if you have the type of personality where you're just going to give up and go back to the easy way, then I get it. You know, like don't maybe you don't have a, a backup plan because you want to trap yourself where you have to keep going forward. Mm. That's a real thing, man. That's a real thing. Wait till that rat. Experiment. Mm-hmm. What did that? What was that conclusion there? That like, if, the if, if you got some hope, hope, you're just gonna hang on hope. For, till yeah. Hope will make you hang on. Damn. Hope will make you hang on. That's crazy. Shalom. Shalom. I want to start off this video by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. <clears throat> and grace and peace to you elect around the four winds believing and pushing is true in all sincerity <clears throat> may the blessing of election be upon your houses this is your fellow servant we'll call your friend the gms orlando camp and now uh, the title of tonight's lesson is going to be hope will make you hang on or rather hang on to hope <laughs> all right and um tonight's inspiration or the inspiration for tonight's lesson comes from the clip that you've seen at the beginning of this video, uh, which is an excerpt from a podcast uh, from this guy named Jocko, you know, but nevertheless, I wanted to touch on this topic briefly through the spirit, because for us to hopefully like, it's very important for us to daily renew the lively hope that's been given us through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, daily renew that hope, all right, because that hope is what's going to allow us to hang on. It's what's going to allow us to finish our course, to endure and see this thing through to the end. Lord willing, whatever you like. All right. It's very, very, very important for us to hopefully like to daily renew the lively hope that we've been given through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah Washai. That's what allows us to fight. That's what allows us to endure temptations, to overcome obstacles. And Lord willing, that's what's going to allow us to receive the mercy that's been promised to the Lord's elect. But um, let's have a couple of precepts I want to get into. You know, Lord wants us edifying unto you elect. All right, renew that lively hope. All right, renew that lively hope daily that's been given to us through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It's a great gift. Because when you think about it, this world, the majority of this world, has no hope. Hope in these latter days is a treasure. It's a treasure. Because the majority of the people out here, they have no hope. They don't have. They didn't have hope in the past. They don't have hope presently, and they don't have no hope for the future. Their best hope is to give up the ghost, man. But for us to hopefully let, all right, our hope is in Yahweh by Shemat was shy. Our hope, all right, is alive. Our hope is alive, and it's living every day through prophecy. We see our hope playing out daily. Wars and rumors of wars. Earthquakes in diverse places, famines, pestilences, the MOTB, World War III playing out. We see our lively hope playing out daily. We see our hope living. Our hope is living daily. It takes a new breath daily. And the hope within us should take a new breath daily. You understand? But um, let's start off here.
in first Peter chapter one. And um let me see. Bear with me real quick. The internet is uh the internet is going a little bit slow. All right, this is first first Peter chapter one. In verse 3, it says, Blessed be the power and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shahamashiach, which according to his abundant mercy have begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of, of Yahweh Shahamashiach from the dead. All right, and the Lord has gotten us again, all right, excuse me, unto a lively hope. All right, let me get this in the NLT. This is 1 Peter 1 and 3 in the NLT. It says, All praise to the Heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. It is by His great mercy that we have been born again, because the Heavenly Father raised Yahweh Shah Mashiach from the dead. Now we live with great expectation. All right? And we live with great expectation of what? Of our Lord coming through, of the promises, of the salvation, of the mercy, of the prophecies. All right? We live in great expectation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach to come through and perform His word. Like he's been doing, man. The Lord has been doing this. He been that. <laughs> he been that, man. Understand, man. The Lord has been performing his word. He's been doing it. The Lord has gotten us again into a, a great expectation. An even, an even greater expectation than what our forefathers had. When you look at our forefathers, our forefathers... Expected nothing but greatness when it came to our power. Nothing but greatness. And it led to them receiving good reports in the heavens. And it also led to them uh, performing uh, quote unquote impossible feats through the Spirit. And what did the Lord say? <laughs> All right. He said, What? Greater works shall be done hereafter. So that means what? There's going to be a greater expectation that comes from the elect in these latter days. There's going to be a greater hope that stems from the elect in these latter days. There's going to be a greater uh, uh, um, uh, faith that stems from the elect in these latter days. And that's what we should strive for. But that comes from a new, renewing that lively hope daily that's within us. Daily. Our hope is in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that hope is a lively hope. You understand that? This is um Psalms chapter 146. Matter of fact, let's get this in Romans chapter 8. Alright, because by that very same hope, Lord one will the elect, we're gonna be saved. Alright, this is Romans chapter 8. And um 24 when it loads up. Alright, this is Romans chapter 8, verse 24. It says, "We are for we are saved by hope, but hope that is not, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why does he have hope for? All right, and we're saved by the hope that's within us. All right, because that hope that's within us allows us to hang on while while everything is not able to be seen yet, while the kingdom is not able to be seen yet, per to speak, because the kingdom is within each and every brother. All right, like the scriptures say, the kingdom is the kingdom of heaven is within you." In each pillar that you see raising up around the four corners of the globe in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in sincerity and in truth, that is a part of the kingdom. So we are seeking the kingdom. You know, but you know, tangibly, you know, when it comes to you know all the glory of the kingdom, we aren't seeing that yet. But hope allows us to hang on until we do. We don't necessarily see the salvation of the Lord right now. But that hope is what's gonna allow us to hang on until we do, Lord willing. It says, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man see, what does he have hope for? Yeah, if we can see these things. We can see, you know, everything that we're hoping for. There would be no need for hope because it'd be right there in your face. All right. But the Lord subjected us to that hope. All right. The Lord subjected us to hope. All right. Here in these latter days. Let me get that in verse 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. All right, so the Lord made us, uh, subjected us in hope. All right, and that hope is what we have to carry. All right, here in these latter days, and, and, and a lively hope at that. 
All right, a lively hope. Let's see. Let's get this. In Psalms 146. And uh, it'll be verse 5. It says Psalms 146. In verse 5. Happy is he that have the heavenly that have the heavenly father of Jacob, the power of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord, and how will Bahashim Yahushai, his power. Alright, it says, Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord, his power. All right, and happy are we. Why? Because our hope is in Yahweh by Shem Our hope is in the everlasting. And we can see our we can see our hope playing out. We can see it. We see this kingdom crumbling daily. I mean, at this point, America is it's, it's only a matter of, of when, not how. Because it's being destroyed right before our eyes. It's crumbling right before our eyes. It's just a matter of when the Lord is going to pull that trigger. We can see the kingdom of heaven being raised up, a table being prepared for us right in the midst of our enemies as we speak. We can see brothers, we experience it ourselves. Brothers growing in the faith, growing in wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Becoming more capable conduits of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh of power. We see it, we're experiencing it. That alone is why we happy man through the spirit that alone is why we put our hope in it we, we continue to put our hope in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah because this hope has led to us growing Psalms 146 and 5 happy is he that have the heavenly father the power of Jacob for his help whose hope is in the Lord his power which made heaven and earth the sea and all that is therein which keep it truth forever which executed of judgment for the oppressed, which give it food for the hungry, the Lord looseth the prisoners. All right, and this is our hope. All right, this is a part of our hope that the Lord is going to execute judgment for us who's been oppressed and loose the prisoners who have been bound for generations. Those prisoners being us of the house of Israel. All right. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Native American Indians. And on this side, they elected a nation of Israel. Let's get this. Let's jump to this. In Jeremiah chapter 17. <clears throat> because it says almost the same thing. In Jeremiah 17. In verse 7. It says... Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. All right. Blessed is that man who puts his trust and his hope in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because that's not going to fail. His trust and his hope is not going to fail. But rather, that hope is going to manifest in spiritual power, in prophecy, in healings, <laughs> in salvation. That hope is going to manifest. That's why it says what? Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. All right. Let's jump to this in Proverbs chapter 13. In verse 12. It says, hope deferred maketh the heart sick. But when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. All right. And that's true. You know, hope deferred maketh the heart sick. You know, when the hope is delayed. You know, you get sick sometimes, and that's why, you know, brothers have that feeling sometimes. Like, Damn, you know, when is this going, when the Lord going to end this, you know? Damn, you know, when, when is this all going to end? But it says what? But when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. And when our desires come, our, our desire from the kingdom of heaven, our desire from the promises that were made to our forefathers, our desire for rest. Our desire for the coming wealth of the nation Israel. Our desire for Yahweh Shai's dominion. When that cometh, it is a tree of life. And our hope isn't being deferred. All right. Keep in mind, our time frame, our timetable is totally different from that Blue Fathers. All right. What we perceive as generations has only been a couple of weeks to the Lord. So really, <laughs> when you think about it, the Lord is moving quick on our behalf, man. 
He says, hope deferred make it the hard sick. But when the desire coming, it is a tree of life. All right. And that tree of life is being prepared for those. All right. For those who hang on, for those who overcome and endure to the end. For those who hang on to the hope. Hang on to your hope, man, because your hope is a treasure. What we have now is a treasure. These niggas out here don't have no hope. <laughs> they don't have no hope, man. I'm telling you, they don't have no hope. You can see it. You can see it in their eyes. They don't have no hope. They didn't have no hope when they came out the womb, and they don't have no hope now or in the future. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemat Washah, we've been begotten again unto a lively hope. Unto a hope of something greater. Greater than the nine to five. Greater than the 401k. Greater than a, a, a white picket fence in a four bedroom house or a two bedroom apartment. Greater than the rulership of the heathens over us. We've been given a hope of something greater. <laughs> we got to keep that hope and renew that hope daily. Because by that hope, it's going to allow us to hang on. Essentially, right now, we are those rats. You know, like, it, not rats. It's like it. <laughs> so like it. All right. So in a sense, we are those lambs. All right. That got dunked. That got, you know, put in that experience. We got dunked. You know, and we, we almost drowned. We almost drowned in this world, but the Lord plucked us up. All right, he plucked us up. All right, gave us that hope and put us back in, all right, to, to, to endure that straight gate. But we have hope that the Lord is going to do it again when he sees that we're about to fall under. We have hope that in the time of trouble, the Lord is going to deliver us because he's done it before. Ooh, he's done it before Man he's done it before man The Lord has saved us before And we have a hope that the Lord Is going to do it again And even greater Lord willing That's what we at with That's what our forefathers is at with You see what happened to them why not you? Why not us? Why not strive for that very same hope and even greater? Let's see. Just got a couple of more and then I'll close it out. <clears throat> All right. Um, let me see. Let's get this. This is Sirach, or Ecclesiastes, chapter 14, and verse 2. Blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him, and who is not falling from his hope in the Lord. All right? We can't fall from our hope in the Lord. And it's a lot, it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of um, things out here, Sirach. You know, it's uh, people driving around me. It's a lot of, it's a lot of deterrence out here. To try to, to get us to fall away from our hope. That's why the lively hope has to be renewed in us daily. We have to constantly rehearse. All right, constantly remind ourselves of the hope we have. Because you let this world tell it. We don't have no hope. You let this world tell it. We're going to be chipped up by 2026. You know, living in the metaverse full, full time. With no fucking lives. Through. You let this world tell it. But thus saith the Lord. <laughs> Alright. Like, like the brothers in the camp. Alright. Thus saith the Lord. We have hope man. And blessed is he. Whose conscience have not condemned him. And who is not fallen. From his hope in the Lord. Alright. Let me get this. Let me see. 
<clears throat> we'll close it out on this one. This is going to be Sirach or Ecclesiastes, chapter 34. And uh, let's get verse 13. It says, The spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live, for their hope is in him that saveth them. Whoso feareth the Lord shall not be shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. Blessed is the soul of him that feareth the Lord. To whom doth he look? And who is his strength? For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. He is a mighty protection and strong stay, a defense from heat and a cover from the soon at noon, a preservation from stumbling and a help from falling. He raiseth up the soul and lighteth the eyes. He giveth health life and blessing all right and that's to all those who keep their hope in the lord all right whose hope the lord is you see the spirit of those that fear the lord shall live for their hope is in him that saveth them we gotta keep that hope within us man you gotta renew that lively hope that's within you hang on to that hope because that hope is going to allow us to hang on. That all, that's all I had to say tonight. You know, Lord, when this is edifying unto you, you know, hang on to that hope. All right. We have hope. You have hope. Hang on to it. All right. Shalom. Stay up.